Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another Cracktober video. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as I am. I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. This is perfect for a Sunday dinner. It is my homemade minestrone soup. I literally just threw this together on a whim. I had a bunch of these ingredients in my pantry and in my fridge. So I will tell you exactly what you'll need for this recipe and you can always change it up to your liking. I had a handful of just small potatoes. You could use whatever kind of potatoes you want. I used three stalks of celery. I also used half of an onion. I had two cloves of garlic, a handful of carrots. I would have loved to use the larger carrots because they're easier to cut, but that's fine. Any small pasta. And then I also had some homemade stewed tomatoes from our garden, a can of corn, a can of kidney beans, and some cooking stock beef flavored. You could also use chicken. I used some oregano, some thyme, some basil, as well as parsley for my seasonings, and salt and pepper as always. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and cut up all of our vegetables. First I started with the potatoes, and I just cut these into bite-sized pieces so that way they were easy to eat in the soup. Next, like I said, I used half of an onion, so I went ahead and took the outside part off and I cut it up and just diced it up. You can use as big or little chunks as you want. I know some people like to use some bigger chunks in their soup, but I don't like that, so I cut them up to my liking and then I went ahead and added them into the crock pot as well. Next, I went ahead and diced the carrots, and like I said, I would have loved to use some larger carrots, but I did not have those, so I just cut these, and once I cut them, I will add them to the crock pot as well. Now I had three stalks of celery, so I went ahead and I cut these, and instead of leaving them into these larger pieces, I did dice them up a little bit smaller because I'm not a huge fan of celery, the actual texture of it, but I do like the flavor that it gives. So I went ahead and chopped these up smaller and then added them to the crock pot. Then I went ahead and I minced my garlic with my garlic masher or garlic press, whatever you call it. And then I added these stewed tomatoes. At first I thought, wait, is this spaghetti sauce? And then I looked and nope, it was some diced tomatoes. You can use the ones from the store as well. And then I went ahead and added this whole container of beef stock. And then I went ahead and added corn. Now, like I said, you could really add whatever you want to this soup, just whatever you like. I rinsed my beans off and I added my beans in there and then I'll go ahead and add my seasonings. Now, I didn't measure anything. I don't typically measure my seasonings. I just kind of eyeball it. So really, this is just to your liking. And then I went ahead and I tasted it later on 
and it just tasted like it was still missing something. So you'll see what I decided to add in just a minute. So you're gonna put this on low or high. I didn't have a lot of time, so I put it on high for about four hours, but it still wasn't finished cooking enough, so I went ahead and added it to a cast iron pot. I will show you what I did add first to it. I went ahead and I added a can of tomato paste because when I tasted the soup, it just didn't have enough tomato flavor for my liking. So I went ahead and added a can of this and that really helped and it gave it so much more flavor. Now, like I said, I went ahead and added my soup to this cast iron pot. This is kind of, it's like a Dutch oven, so it really cooks fast and it was able to get those potatoes done in time. And then I went ahead and I boiled my pasta and then you will add that pasta into the pot when it's all finished. You don't need to do the extra step of cooking it in a Dutch oven, but I did just because I didn't have a lot of time. So I decided to make some homemade rolls to go with this and it was the perfect addition to this meal. This soup was so good. It wasn't super hearty because there is no meat in the soup. If you wanted to add meat, you could, but that would make it more like a chili in my opinion. So this was delicious. And I made a pumpkin pie for dessert. It was definitely a hit and we actually had enough for leftovers the next day. I added a little bit of fresh Parmesan cheese and had our rolls with it and this was seriously so good the perfect fall soup if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys